What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So I just bought more plants uh, in tissue quarter. Now this time they are not from Etsy. They are all the way from Thailand. So while I open the uh, box, uh, let me tell you what was the, the process. So essentially, um, so I was looking to buy more plants. Uh, now when I look, I look on, again, I look back on Etsy and the prices were still very expensive. So as say myself well i just want to buy more plants directly from thailand see what was experienced um yeah and then i was going to make a video about it so i essentially look to find a reputable uh, seller uh, i found a couple that they look pretty good now at the end i went with uh, this seller uh, because um i seen a lot of like his plants on like uh, on his facebook page and I also seen some of his videos on, 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 on their YouTube. So I feel like, oh, well, I think this is a, a good seller. So I just kind of send them an email, ask him, uh, ask them for the, um, um, the, their, their, their plan list and their prices. And, and I send that in uh, like an, an afternoon and I'm here in the US and obviously it's over on Thailand. So it's basically the middle of the night over there. So I email them in the mid, like uh, mid afternoon and then basically uh, the next morning when i check my email they already responded with the with the list of plans from there i just um, made like an excel file with the plans that i wanted send it back to them and then they send me an invoice which i just paid and what else from there uh, basically they asked me for my like import permit now, at that time, I didn't have like an import permit. Um, basically, you know, almost pretty much every single ad that they have or any other um, uh, business from Thailand have, they say like we support business from, uh, uh, or we support customers from the US. So I thought I didn't need like a import permit. I thought like they would ship to a wholesaler that they may already have in the US and they will ship the plants for, to me. Now, they can, that may be still be the case, but um, before I sell, the, like, well, I don't have a permit. I actually went online and I watched like this video here and in 20 minutes, I have an import permit. So it was fairly simple, fairly easy. So I just did that and I emailed, emailed that to them. That was on like Friday, like last Friday. I made that last Friday. And then they, um, by the next day on Saturday, they took the plants uh, to their phytosanitary. And then in the Saturday afternoon, they are already on the way to, in the mail. So that was on like Saturday afternoon. But um, let's see, but Tuesday, but yes, but Tuesday was already here in the United States. No, but Monday was here in the U.S. in Miami uh, in customs, and then it got, didn't get released until Wednesday. So it got released on Wednesday, and then I received the plans on on Thursday. So basically a week. So essentially, a lot of the times where I like to buy plans in the United States because they will, the the shipping will be a lot faster. However, now the I mean they are doing very quick shipping i mean in a week i had the plant so a lot of the times i buy plants here in the us and i don't get them in two weeks or maybe even longer than that so i mean timing is not really like a problem anymore i mean it's it's you just have to to make sure you you select a good seller and yeah well uh let's stop talking about that i'm sorry i'm sorry we just had to give you all this talk you probably already knew how to import plants but if you didn't know I mean here you go it's pretty pretty simple uh, so let's start unboxing plans so now I'm sorry it's gonna be just going to be a little long because I actually ordered two thousand dollars worth of plants so, so I got quite a bit quite a bit of plants uh, now there's the same amount of uh, plants it would have purchased here in the US would have been probably around six to eight thousand dollars so I did save quite a bit of money doing this, doing the purchasing the plants from Thailand. So let me check the camera here. Okay, so here is the uh, first plant. Now I will try to say the names of some of these plants, but some of the names I can just cannot say. I don't know how to say the names, so I just going to probably not say the name. That's why I just cannot 
trying to use the other camera. So I have Philodendron Gigantium. Now these cups are actually bigger than I thought, and these were supposed to be 10 plants. I can already tell you there are way more than 10 plants in here. So they also have a decent amount of roots. Now uh, these cups, they need new media uh, now. So something that I definitely want to get busy on that. They immediately I need to, to work on getting these plants to new media. So I have Philodendron, a strawberry shake. Very nice looking plants. They have a decent amount of roots. That's good. Let me move this camera a bit. Okay. I have um I don't know how to say this name. So but the plant look good. Yeah, nice roots on these plants. Let's see. Um, no, the philodendron. They look all right. Now let's see what is this. This contamination, like right here, here. I'm not sure. Let me take a quick better look. Okay, so I see contamination on this one. I'm not sure if it, the contamination is on the inside or on the outside. Like they're using these cups. You can see they're using these cups and they use these uh, seal bags, which I can tell that this one lost its seal. It's not completely vacuum seal. So it then whatever seems like a spill a little bit of media or something inside the bag and I can see some contamination spots over here so I'll have to be very careful with this one whenever I move the I may have to re-sterilize it before I move it to to fresh media philodendron violin like you can see that like this is vacuum seal this one but the other one was did have air inside, so it wasn't sealed. Looks pretty nice. Okay. Let's see. Have a um, philodendron chlorosome flat form. Couple of yellow leaves, but that's okay. Uh, not a lot of roots. But yeah, I mean, all of these were supposed to be 10, 10 plants and they have a lot more than 10 plants. So I'm happy about that. Let's see. This. Philodendron Jose. How do you say this? Bueno? Bueno? I don't know. Look at the variegation on this one. That's good. Now, there, are they using charcoal or what's going on with the media? I'm not sure. Let's see. Seems like they using charcoal. I hope, maybe because it's pretty black. So. Now the philodendron. Jopai. Jopai. I'm sorry with the names. I just cannot say the names. <laughs> Um, looks good. Uh, this is supposed to be one plant. Like all the ones on the flask, they are supposed to be one plant. So looks like there may be... Uh, I'm not sure there's one or one... There may be one or two plants in here. I'm not sure. Okay. Um, Alocasia. Now, um, okay, I'm not a really big fan of this cup. It's pretty plasticky, but as long as it's still sterile, that's okay. But not a really big fan of the cups. I also not really big fan of the the bags, which I there are quite a few in, in here. But I mean, it is what it is. Uh, for me, it is more difficult to work with them. Um, they may be a little cheaper the bags and obviously the, the the flask and everything but i just don't like it i like to use 
plastic cups or glass cups. So I have a Musa. Uh, I have two Musa. Hold on, there is the other one. Oh, okay. So they sent me two of the same one, looks like. Uh, I ordered one of the. Oh, well, this is Florida. And the other one was supposed to be. Um, ooh, don't remember. I will. Let me see on the list here. Where is Musa? Musa Nono. No, no. I don't know if this is Nono or no. I think Nono was supposed to be like more reddish orange plant. So I'm not sure about this one. Who we'll had to ask the seller about it? Uh, Philodendron Florida Beauty. Looks nice. Who oh, was this? Okay, one second. My pizza is done, so one second. <laughs> All right, next. Let's see. So let me take all this padding out. Now I can tell that the shipping was pretty good. Um, they, I mean, like they use the sealed vacuum bags and they use a lot of like uh, padding and styrofoam box and also the shipping was pretty quick. So I'm pretty happy about that. The only thing is one of the bags, like I say, is, it wasn't sealed. So it looks like it's contaminated. And one of the musas, I don't know if there is the same musa. So I had to check with the seller on that one. Uh, let's see what we have next. Uh, Philodendron Florida Ghost. Look at this one. Uh, I see contamination on this one. I think. Is it contaminated or is there the roots? I think I see contamination on this one. Yes. It's going to be very hard to see, but this one is contaminated. I'll have to clean this one up before I move to new media. Looks pretty good. Very great variegation. Look, look, at, the, look at that leaf in there. Looks great. All right. Unfortunately, looks like this is contaminated. Not 100% sure if it's contaminated, but seems like I think I see some contamination on there. This one is also not sealed. This uh, this bag is no vacuum seal. Syngonium red spot dry color. It's a nice looking plant. All right. Let's see, next we have an, another alocasia. I will not try how to say that. Okinawa silver. Looks good. Some variegation in there. Uh, let's see, Monstera. I'm not sure if they're using charcoal on their media or they're just black. I think they're using charcoal. Like this one is no vacuum seal at all. Sangonium milk confetti. It's all right. Now, nah. are they? Yeah, they are leaky. They are leaky. I can, I can squish some air on this one. So, right. Let's see next one. Philodendron caramel marble variegated. Variegated. Do I see variegation? I do not see any variegation. Let me take a look. closer look. Maybe the small one, but... Oh yeah, I see some variegation. Okay. It's hard to see. That very small leaf right there, that has some variegation. You may be able to see it there. Okay. Mm. Philodendron burn max. Also has some variegation. Very nice, very nice. Oh, look at this one. 
alocasia, black velvet, variegated. Nice, look very nice. All right, next. We have alocasia, look at this bambino, variegated. Nice, very nice leaf. Very happy with this one. Monstera Aurea. Oh, okay. This is a really nice variegated leaf, but you cannot really see that well because of the wrap. Very nice. Now you asking, what did I purchase along all these plants? Uh, I already in tissue quarter when I can potentially use do it myself. Well, one, there are a couple reasons. Um, one is to save me time. Um, basically, this is going to save me many months, maybe over six months to a year of work. Uh, also, if, if if I would have purchased these plants out of tissue quarter, um, one I would have spent a lot more money because it would be a lot more expensive. And second, I will essentially would have to purchase multiple plants or wait until the plant is big enough for me to take uh, X plants. Otherwise, I will have to basically sacrifice the entire plant and taking the risk that uh, it may not work. So, yeah, that's basically it. I also doing this because I need to get as many plants as I can because we have the uh, masterclass, uh, the, the plant cell technology uh, masterclass that is coming up and I need a lot more plants. So uh, some of these plants, uh, uh, some of these plants may use in, in, in the class. Not all of them because some of these I only want to have a one, but there are some that I have a potentially plenty to, to start working with, with it in the class. I also some, have some of the other plants that you have already seen before. So, all right, so these are the bags. Like I said, I don't really like the, the bags, but well, anyways, for me, they are a lot more difficult to work with. I hope they are um, sealed, these bags. But well, anyways, Philodendron and Domesticum. I don't know how to say that, sorry. <laughs> um, I see some variegation on this one. Again, it's going to be very hard to see. Anyways, whenever I move this to new media, I, I will show you as well, so you can have a better look as well. Another Philodendron. Well, most of these are Philodendrons. Look at this one, very big leaves. So now that I'm see, looking on these plants, I think I will have to do, use a mixture of different size cups. I was thinking of using all the uh, small four ounce cups for all of them, but I see some of these plants are quite big, so I will have to use the bigger daily containers for them. Philodendron is still very shake. All right. Uh, Philodendron, Longly, I don't know what to say. Okay, looks all right. One plant. Ah, uh, look at this, Monstera Tine Constellation. Nice root. I'll probably have to cut it the root out whenever I transfer. I don't need the roots. I, I need multiplication. I don't need I don't care about the roots. I may have to cut it like right here. Anyways, let's check the other box. Set this on the side. Alright, last box. More bags, let's see. Oh, look at this. Anterium. Um, there are a lot of plants in here. Let me see. They look very nice. Yeah, I I want to need a lot of media for these plants. I want to be busy moving all these plants to new media. Another Anterium, big bio. Looks very nice. Well, yeah, I'm pretty excited about all of these plants uh, and the class as well. So that's why I purchased all these plants. Philodendron. Yep. 
Fui lo dentro un splendid. Fui lo dentro un glorosum dark form. Fui lo dentro un glorious. Alright. Uno del filodendron. Okay. Oh, look, Florida Beauty variegated. I see some variegation on this one. Look at this. Very nice. I think this was supposed to be one plant. Uh, how many plants do I see? Yeah, I guess it's just one plant. I need to remove some of these bottom leaves. They are not doing very well because they are used on the media so I just want to keep the top Philodendron Serpents Nice And last two Philodendron, I don't know, say Trotum Cool very Nice and Finally, oh look at this, Alocasia, Predic, Variegated, very nice, nice variegation. So, okay, before I uh, give a conclusion, I want to count all of the plants and make sure I have everything. So before I give you like a, a final conclusion. Okay, so I just check all the plants, all the leaves, and they are all here. So everything looks pretty good. The only thing that I would say is that um, with like these cups right here um, where uh, it kind of they spill a little bit I can see uh, this one and two of these had a bit of contamination of fungus now the fungus is on the back I don't see it inside the plant but I, like I said I won't be I won't open these plants until I um, on the hood and ready to move the plants so i will be very careful with these plants and then i will keep you updated i mean i will make a video on on that so some of that and then some of the um like i say some of these bags they're supposed to be vacuum sealed but they are not vacuum sealed you can see there they are leaking air so that's pretty much it i mean the process was pretty simple um so, oh, actually, one second. Okay, so I have another plant. This is from an, from a different order. So I have a, a Philodendron Spirocenti. For this one, I bought it here in the US and I pay. How much I pay for this one? Oh, I had to look on how much I pay for it. I think it was close to uh, $300 for it. So just one single plant for $300. But this is a very expensive plant. I think I have a friend that he purchased one plant of this, one seedling. It wasn't in tissue quarter, it was just one seedling. Uh, one seedling about this big, uh, $1,400 for it. So they are very expensive. Now that was like last year, price of the plants of some of these uh, very uh, exotic plants has gone down significantly now that we are uh, back to work and no no everybody is back home so kind of the demand uh, went down so the prices have also gone down but anyways i want to make a lot of medium uh, i think uh, i'll be using most of the mostly the small four ounce cups but i will also make some of the uh, bigger daily containers so that's going to be on the next video i'm going to make a ton of media and a lot of tissue quarter so i will see you then hope you have a good day and i'll see you next week see you bye hey everyone thanks for watching the video if you're enjoying these tissue culture videos be sure to follow us on social media for more informative content and if you're interested in conducting your own tissue culture experiments make sure to check us out at plantcelltechnology.com for all the products you need to get started use the code fp10 for 10 percent off your first purchase